So guys, for the first step, you're gonna get into this screen. Now to get here, you're gonna turn off your computer from the power button and then turn it back on again. As soon as it turns on, you're gonna turn it off again and then turn it back on again. You want to repeat this three times. So you're gonna turn off your computer from the power button and then turn it back on again. As soon as it turns on, you're gonna turn it off again and then turn it back on again. You want to repeat this three times and then on the fourth time when you turn your computer on again, it will then take you into this screen. It's gonna be saying that your PC did not start correctly, you're gonna click on advanced options. And now once you're on this, I'm going to be showing you four different ways on how you can fix this problem. So for the first method, you're going to click on Troubleshoot, Advanced Options, and then Start to Repair. If you do not see Start to Repair in this list, then you're going to click on Seam Recovery Options. Then it should appear right here. So you're going to click on Start to Repair. It's now going to start diagnosing your PC, wait for this to load. Now hopefully this would have fixed your problem. If not, that's fine, we're going to click on Advanced Options. And now for the second method, you're going to click on Troubleshoot, Advanced Options, and then system restore. If you have any restore points available on your computer, then you wanna click on next and then go back to your restore point. If you don't have any restore points, that's fine. We're gonna click on cancel. For the next method, we're gonna click on troubleshoot, advanced options, and then start up settings. And then click on restart. And now once this comes up, we're gonna enable safe mode. So you wanna click on either four or F4 on your keyboard. So click on four or F4. It's now gonna take us into safe mode. And now once we're in safe mode, we're just going to close out of this. Now, you just want to simply restart your computer, which is now going to take you back to Windows. This should now fix your problem. If that's still not working, then for the last method, you want to come back into the screen like I'll show you to do at the start of the video. And now once you're on this, you want to click on Troubleshoot and then reset this PC. If you don't have your files backed up, then you want to click on Keep My Files. If you do have your files backed up, then you want to click on Remove Everything. You then just want to reset your PC and then this should now fix your problem.